Guys, today we built a 50 out of 50 Denver Broncos squad. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting off right away, I love how Jalen Ramsey's picture right here is on the Duke Vernon Davis's card. No, he did not play for, um, well, Jalen Ramsey did not play for the Broncos, but that's also not Jalen Ramsey's card. Because the card that really leads this offense off slash shows off how good this offense can be is Vernon Davis. It's the Duke. If you are building an all-time Broncos squad, which I'm going to tell you right now, the offense is absolutely dog crap. But this is the card you want to pick up, right? I mean, he is one of the best tight ends in football right now in Madden-wise. And again, you know, he's putting up crazy stats. I had to refresh that on Madden wise because he's retired but 90 speed 79 strength 87 catching 89 catching traffic 88 spec cast 90 short route running 88 medium route running and 60 run block this card is freaking glitchy as all heck um but other than that the only card I don't have on offense is going to be um Isaiah McKenzie which is, he's now on the Colts. He used to be on the Bills. Um, and he was on the Broncos one time. But there's none on the auction house. He is an 83 overall. He is the best receiver they have. The Broncos suck this season, man. I, that's the best way to put it. Wilson isn't going to get a new card anytime soon. They're 1-5. and five. Neither will Jarrett Stidham. So, if you're a Broncos fan, man, I feel so bad for you. I feel so, so bad for you because... You're not running your theme team on man. I'm sorry, but you're not. This is one of the worst. This is probably the worst offensive theme team in the game. If we didn't have Vernon Davis, I guess Vernon Davis and Shannon Sharp, this would be like an absolute joke to run this as a theme team in Madden. Especially in late October. This is unusable, in all honesty. But defense is where things get a little bit better. I am missing a couple players. I'm missing um, the maxed out Von Miller. I'm sorry, but I'm waiting for Series Redux card. To, uh, Series Redux to drop to pick that card up. Card's like eight, nine hundred thousand coins. A limited time card came out during most of your promo, and it's way too expensive. Again, like I said, I'm waiting for uh, Series Redux to pick that Von Miller up. But they did get D Ware, and they also have Shaq Barnett, which or Barrett, which I do not have here. And then they have another limited time card for the Seattle Seahawks. I forget what the guy's name is. That guy's name is um, Draymond Jones. He also has a gold card, but it doesn't get Broncos chem. So I kind of couldn't use it. Now his limited time does, but his limited time, again, is came out during the Headliners promo. And there's none on the auction house. So why? Why? EA. Why does this Broncos defense have three limited time cards? They have a limited right end, a limited left end, and a limited left side linebacker. We do not need that many limiteds on this Broncos squad. It's like EA realizes that people who are Broncos fans and running an all-time Broncos squad already is getting absolutely destroyed by just the simple fact of trying to build this squad and use it in today's game. And they're even adding on to it. They're pouring salt onto the wounds here by saying, if you want to use it, not only you're going to have to go ahead and use an unusable squad, but kicker is you also have three limited time cards that are way too expensive. And really, those are the only three cards that you want to have on this squad, right? Other than Vernon Davis. You want to have, obviously, again, you know, Von Miller, 90 overall. You want to have... Um, Draymond Jones, and then Shaq Barrett. Good thing is we do have Demarcus Ware, who is a freaking beast and a monster. So, thankfully, he was actually part of that Super Bowl 50 squad when they won the Super Bowl. So, he kind of keeps this team together, man. He kind of keeps this squad somewhat, you know, contained. But, it's not by much. It's not by much. And again, the best corner... Best cornerback they have in Madden, you would think is Patrick Satane because Patrick Satane is one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Even if the Broncos suck, PS2 has still been a really good corner this year. But no, it's actually Basley, Basley, which I don't, I think he just like hasn't really, he's just a guy who had a really good week, but nothing when it comes to actually throughout the season. 
Like, let me know what what version, or not what version. When is this card from? This card is the preseason. It's not even regular season. This is literally a preseason card. Dang, Broncos fans. You guys are taking catching strays left and right at this point. You know, usually when it comes to these team teams, I sit here and I say, Hey, listen, guys, this is amazing. This is awesome. Sometimes, you know, we just got to take a seat back and sit back and say, Broncos fans, you guys eventually, your team's going to get it going. And eventually this is going to get to a point where maybe it will be a lot better. Who, who knows, though, because next year when I do an all-time Bronco squad, this might be Caleb Williams, right? And Caleb Williams might have, like, a 92 overall card by this time. So that's going to be awesome. Um, you know, the, the rest of the offense is still going to suck. But, I mean, Caleb Williams, though, you got Vernon Davis, Shannon Sharp, you know, Chris Manhurts. Maybe you move them around at the receiving core. And you got those three receivers plus Caleb Williams, you know, and defensively, um... Things get better. I mean, this, what's really sad about the Broncos is Von Miller tried to come back this offseason. And they said no to him because of the fact that they wanted Randy Gregory. And yes, that's the Randy Gregory that they just cut. Just cut him. And the 49ers picked him up. They just cut Randy Gregory. And <laughs> they said no to Von Miller coming back. Now, Von Miller has been dealing with injuries all season long with the Bills, so it's not like they are lose. They, you know, they lost a guy who's going to come in and contribute at a very high level right away. But I'm going to tell you right now, if you give me an option between half a season or part of a season with Von Miller over Randy Gregory or, or Randy Gregory full season, I'm probably taking Von Miller no matter what. Especially, you know, because the Broncos, as much as possible, I feel like they want to get back to that 2015-2016 Super Bowl run season team. Von Miller is part of that. And I know he's older. He's, he's still got kicking, man. He's still got a kicking in, okay? But, yeah. So, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Which theme team are you rocking? I hope you're not rocking this theme team. Uh, we are currently now 16 out of 32 teams. So, we are officially at halfway for the theme teams for this year. And... I will still say my favorite theme team is probably the Ravens theme team. Like, I still like the Bengals theme team. We did it yesterday. We looked at it and broke it down. But I will still say that the Ravens theme team is probably my favorite. And that's probably the one I would suggest if you are going to be rocking one. The Ravens theme team will always be the theme team I think is just the best. Because EA gives so many good cards to the Ravens. And you might say that, well, that's bias, whatever. It is what it is, you know. They like to give the Ravens good cards. But I'll see you guys next one. Peace.